Welcome back to Luna Basics. In this video, we'll cover MIDI editing and arrangement in Luna. Luna has a number of easy to use MIDI editing features that allow you to edit recorded MIDI performances or create new patterns from scratch. Check out the previous video in this series for more info on recording MIDI into Luna. For this example, I'm going to start by importing a previously recorded MIDI performance. MIDI can be imported into Luna using the import option in the file menu, or simply by dragging MIDI files into the timeline. Let's start by taking a look at one of the most commonly used MIDI editing features, quantization. MIDI notes can be quantized in a number of ways in order to fix timing issues or create new patterns. The quantize menu can be accessed from the edit menu by clicking the Q in the clip header or with the shortcut Command Shift U. By default, clicking on a grid value in the quantize menu will automatically apply that level of quantization to the currently selected notes. Unchecking the auto apply box disables this behavior so that quantization is only applied when the quantize button is clicked. Luna applies quantization non-destructively, so you can audition multiple grid values without having to undo. Each time you select a value, that level of quantization is applied to the original MIDI, not on top of the previous quantization. The original timing of the MIDI notes can be restored by clicking the off button in the grid menu. A variable amount of swing can be added to the MIDI notes using the swing fader, and the strength fader below it controls how much quantization is applied in order to retain some of the original performance's feel while still tightening up the timing. Now that we've covered how to quantize MIDI notes, let's take a look at Luna's other MIDI editing features. Luna allows you to work with MIDI clips in many of the same ways as audio clips. For example, MIDI clips can be moved around in the timeline by dragging the clip header. The clip footer is used to select an area within the clip by dragging, and is useful for quickly zooming in on a section using the E key. Clips can also be trimmed by dragging at the bottom edge of either end of the clip. MIDI clips can be arranged in the timeline in many of the same ways as audio clips. For example, they can be cut, copied, or pasted using the standard shortcuts Command X, Command C, and Command V, or by using the corresponding buttons in the edit workflow. Clips can be duplicated using the duplicate button or the shortcut Command D. Pressing the B key triggers the separate function and splits the clip at the current playhead position. If multiple adjacent clips are selected in the timeline, you can combine them into a single clip with the consolidate function by using the shortcut Option Shift 3. You can also use the consolidate function to create a blank MIDI clip at the current timeline selection. Shuffle style shift edits can also be performed using the shift buttons in the edit workflow, or by replacing the command key with the shift key in many of the standard editing shortcuts. These types of edits are particularly useful for arrangement as they allow you to quickly add or remove sections without having to manually move the other clips in the timeline to make or fill space. For example, instead of using the standard cut function, which leaves an empty space where the clip was, I can use the Shift Cut button, or the shortcut Shift X to perform a shift cut, which cuts the current selection and shifts all clips after the selection up to fill the space. If I use the normal paste function to paste the clip I just cut, the clip will be pasted over the clip that was in that space before. However, if I use the Shift Paste button, or the shortcut Shift V, all clips after the selection will be shifted to the right to make room for the pasted clip. The Shift Duplicate button, or shortcut Shift D, works in a similar way by duplicating the current selection and shifting all clips after the selection to the right to make room. Finally, the Shift Insert button, or Shift I, can be used to insert empty space of the current timeline selection while moving the clips after the selection to the right by the same amount. In Luna, all MIDI editing happens directly in the timeline, so there's no need to open and close a separate MIDI editor window. Let's take a closer look at one of my MIDI clips. To make it easier to see and edit the individual MIDI notes, I'm going to select the clip and press the E key to expand it. Now I can clearly see the notes in the clip, allowing me to more accurately edit them. By default, instrument tracks are set to Notes View, which allows for editing of the MIDI notes contained in the clip. If the track is switched to Clips View, the notes will remain visible, however they cannot be edited, making this view useful for arranging MIDI clips. When a track is selected, the minus key can be used to quickly toggle between Notes and Clips View. When an instrument track is in Notes View, the track's piano roll will be shown next to the timeline. The scroll bar to the left is used to scroll through the piano roll and zoom in or out to change the range of notes currently being shown. Double-clicking on the scroll bar or clicking the Fit button at the bottom of the piano roll vertically scales the piano roll to fit all notes that are in the clip. The Fold button at the top collapses the piano roll to only show the notes during the clip, 
and is useful for making relative edits to notes that aren't close to each other in the piano roll. For example, adjusting the relative timing of notes that are an octave or two apart. The piano roll lets you audition notes by clicking the keys, and can also be used to select all notes in a particular note lane. Holding down the shift key and clicking multiple notes on the piano roll allows you to quickly select all notes from multiple note lanes. Notes can also be selected simply by clicking on them, or by dragging to select all notes in a particular area. Adding the shift key to either of these actions allows you to select multiple notes or multiple areas. Once notes are selected, the up and down arrows can be used to transpose the notes one semitone at a time, or one octave at a time by holding the shift key. The length of each MIDI note can be adjusted using the handles at the edge of the note. Just hover the mouse over either edge of the note, then drag to change the length. Notes can be moved by dragging at the middle of the note. When snap is enabled, as it is by default, notes will be snapped to the grid and can only be moved or trimmed in specific increments based on the current grid value which can be changed using the grid menu in the bars and beats ruler, or by using the plus and minus keys while holding down shift. Snap can be toggled by clicking the snap button in the bars and beats ruler, or with the shortcut shift backslash. To temporarily ignore the grid without disabling snap, hold down the command key while moving or trimming the note. New notes can be added by double clicking anywhere in the grid, or drawn in with a pencil tool by holding the control key. Note velocity, which typically controls the volume of each note, can be adjusted from the MIDI clip or from its own lane. In Notes view, velocity can be edited by holding down the command key while clicking on a note and dragging up or down. The opacity of the notes will change to reflect the velocity, with lighter notes having a lower velocity than darker notes. For more precise adjustment, velocity can be edited in the track's continuous controller lane by clicking the clip's velocity icon or double-clicking anywhere in the track header. Drag on the velocity markers below each note to adjust the velocity, or draw in velocity curves with the pencil tool by holding down the control key while dragging. You can also adjust velocity for multiple notes at once by selecting them in the clip and moving the velocity marker for one of the notes. The MIDI CC lane can also be used to edit and program other MIDI CC data such as pitch bend, sustain, modulation, or program changes. For example, to edit pitch bend data for this track, I can click on the lane's view menu which opens a searchable list of all CCs. I can start typing pitch to locate pitch bend in the list, and then click on it to see it in the CC lane. Now I can draw in pitch bend data with the pencil tool by holding down the control key while dragging in the lane. That covers the basics of editing and arranging MIDI in Luna. Check out the next video in this series to learn how to turn your recordings into a finished track using Luna's powerful mixing and exporting features.